guys welcome back to my channel it's chris here with curls with chris and this week we are back with another hair tutorial yes y'all i know y'all looking at my hair i like oh chris has switched it up this week yes i did i switched it up i moved away from the wash and go for this week because honestly you know all of our natural girls know i doing the wash and go look you know your hair gotta be wet all the time you gotta let it air dry and you know what when i was on my hair this week i was like i don't feel like waiting i don't feel like doing all that i was like let me try something different so yeah that's what we're getting into this week let's get into these uh these basically i didn't straighten my hair these are just flexi flexi rod waves and i basically only used a few of them i didn't use a whole bunch but yeah this is this is the outcome and when i tell y'all i am loving the body that i have the shine that i have like the entire like wavy look this might be, might be my new go-to for like the next couple of weeks because uh yeah i'm a little i'm a little obsessed with this with this look right now so uh yeah before i get into it this is y'all's chance to go ahead and hit this right here the subscribe button so that you can join um the chris crew and we can be having fun we can be doing our hair doing our makeup going shopping together we're gonna do all that fun stuff on this channel girl so go ahead and follow go ahead and subscribe um so that you and hit the little notification bell so that you never miss a video do not miss a video don't miss a video okay so um just so you know the only thing that i used for this entire look for this entire look y'all is these little flexi rods and um i looked at a bunch of stuff online just to figure out how to do it because like i said this was the first time i'd ever done it People were saying that they use different sizes or whatever. I actually only used these two colors. So I think that the gray ones, which is the ones I use in the front because I thought they were a little bit smaller, but clearly they're not. They're not that much smaller. So basically I use the same size on my whole head. So yeah, but this is the final look. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but let's um, go ahead and jump right into it. guys so okay this like i said in the intro this is my very first time doing this particular type of style so i just did not even know what to expect but i will let you know that um i didn't use aside from when i did blow out my hair the heat protectant i didn't use any product for this um this portion of the style so basically i'm just wrapping the hair um around it in a ringlet motion and i'm not i'm not taking care this is like such an easy thing to do i'm not taking care to basically um make sure the hair being wrapped around the flexi rod is so much flat as i am just making sure it's going around in a circle so it's gonna feel like almost your hair is like wrapping around like a rope so it's gonna seem like it's like coiling up which is perfectly fine your hair is still gonna come out perfectly fine if it's if you're doing that so the first um one that i did i tried to just do it with the flat flexi rod and let me tell you that did not come out right for me so i keep like taking it down like you see here because it just wasn't coming out tight at all so um the more you watch into the video you can see that i started doing a method called the horseshoe method where you basically bend the flexi rod in the shape of a horseshoe and it's almost like you are only putting i'm well i don't know about how anyone else can do it but when i did that um that technique it like really sped up the process number one and number two it um i only i only 
twisted my hair around in the spiral motion on one side of the flexi rod if that makes sense so you'll see here and then obviously like i said this is my first time doing it so the more i did each one like the third one here it's becoming a lot easier and the hair is wrapping around a lot tighter so as you'll notice at the very end it's kind of tricky because there's no product on my hair to get it to stay around the flexi rod but you do not fret because look your hair does still come out perfectly fine and that one the third one is a lot tighter than the rest um than the first two that i did and let me tell you it just gets a little bit easier with each one that i do i don't think you have to part your hair any particular way you can part it on the side you can part it in the middle i did it in the middle because when i'm doing my hair it's just a lot easier but i would definitely try it on the side for the next time um the brush that I'm using right there is my Texture by Teary Detangling Brush. Um, and I really love it for when I'm doing this style because it does help my hair stay detangled. I use it for every style actually. Um, and so yeah, so this is the fourth one that I'm doing. And as you can see, it's getting a lot easier for me. And like I said, I'm only twisting around that one um, side of the flexor rod. It's my little baby right there. Hey, Matt Matt. Um, so yeah that's what i'm doing for the remainder of the video and i do take you through the entire head um i'm speeding it up so that you guys can see um just how i'm doing each and every one so i'm gonna be quiet now also um i'm doing the front part of my hair which is what with what is supposed to be a smaller flexi rod i don't know that it's any really that much smaller it's supposed to be but um to me they seem to be the same the same width um, as the purple one but nonetheless I did use the purple ones on the front and yeah you see I'm pulling it into that horseshoe so yeah I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can enjoy the video now if you have any other questions um, let me know I will see you guys um, you know I'll let you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video for the reveal
Okay, so this is the final flexi rod that I am wrapping and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up before we get into the reveal that I did um, the pieces at the end of the flexi rod that's kind of sticking up. I did put a little bit of leave-in conditioner at the end of those to wrap them around. So now um, this is my really pretty texture by Teary satin cap that I love and I've gotten ready for the day and I am going to start taking down each flexi rod. So with the first one, I first took the first one down, y'all. When I took that first one down, hunty, your girl was super surprised. I had to like adjust my little camera because what? I cannot believe that I had never ever tried this look before. So, okay, so I'm I'm really, really impressed. And then I go to take down like the next one and y'all i'm blown away this style was so was super easy and i just can't believe that i i'm just in awe that i have never tried it before like if you are looking for a style that's super easy and low maintenance but you really want to look like just like spice it up a little bit or you're going to an event or you're going even like out on a date and you know like you know at least like i would say at least like well if you're not going to sit under the dryer at least like eight hours ahead of time i would definitely try this style because y'all it just it really changed the game for me so i think that i will be trying this style for a while up until it gets a little bit warmer um for the summer Okay, so since I'm taking out the last and final flexi rod, after this, as you can see, like this came out so nice and fluffy and pretty. Like I just love it so much. But um, yeah, so now I'm basically just taking my fingers. I'm not doing anything fancy and just fluffing and de-piecing, if that's the thing, de-piecing my hair so that it can be big and fluffy and pretty. Y'all know I like like big pretty curls so yeah this is it this is gonna be the final step in this style like how easy was this style let me know in the comment section below what you think of this style and would you try it um it's only basically three steps y'all like that's it so let me know how you would do it or if you have any tips and pointers on how to make this style come out differently or even a little better. Let me know in the comment section below. And while you're there commenting, make sure that you subscribe.